Hello everyone, this is Sirius Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Wadong Let's Play. We're in the main menu here because it's actually pretty cool loading into the game and we get extra information. And the character you see here on the right is us. We're wearing yellow turban gear and there's a good reason for that. So let's hop into game and I'll explain. So, as you can see from the load here, we get more info about our remote mountain village. It's in the Longya State, Xu Province. It has the protection of Divine Beast. And there is a number of small shrines, the largest and most important of which is atop the nearby mountain, where we will fight the first boss, Zhang Liang, the youngest of the three Yellow Turban Brothers. And as we return to game here, we are at our first banner checkpoint. And the reason why we're here, for those who have seen our most recent guide, is because I've been grinding a weight for Qi, for equipment, and just to practice with new gear, as we have a spear. And we have a spear and our ring blade. Basically the two more historical weapons available in the game. If we find a D, we'll use that as well. So the way you want to do it if you are having trouble with Zhang Liang is you want to come back here, kill this soldier, run through the flame, find the Chang Gui, sneak up to it, give it a nice poke. Doesn't kill, but one more tap does it. And the reason why we do so much damage to it is because we are morale rank 25. Your damage scales with morale rank, and you can gain morale rank by killing enemies without taking any critical hits, the glowing red hits. So basically just finish the circle here. You could also run back if you don't want to kill this guy, but it's a free kill, free point. He can drop gear, and then come back and rest and the whole thing resets. Now what we didn't do last time is we didn't get to level up and spend our T points, which can be used to increase our attributes, wood, fire, earth, metal, and water, the five phases or five elements. And I already spent some points. It starts at one. I increase earth to seven, water to five, and wood to three. You can see the cost of the genuine T. It starts at 500 increase by 500 increments each time. So the first level is 500, second level is 1,000, 1,500, and now we're up to 5,000 per level. And we have to decide where we want to spend these very expensive level up. Now, the reason why I put so many in Earth Virtue is because of weight limit. Previously, before we left, we were wearing the Lieutenant General gear, which is very heavy. And if you're overweight, you can see the equipment weight on the right. Then there's debuffs with speed. And since this is a deflection parrying game, losing speed is not something we can afford. And later on, I really do want to wear heavy armor. So I'm going to be investing our points in Earth Virtue. Actually, all of them. Oh, it jumps more than 500 after 6,000. Look at it. An extra hundred here. Well, good thing we can afford most of this. We're a little short on the last one. Oh no, we can get it to 12, but that's it. We'll take it. You can see our max weight has gone up, and the proportion of our current gear weight to that max weight percentage has gone down. And we get, obviously, more Earth Element Attribute Point as well. Uh, we're going to do this investment here. And every five levels, I believe we gain one wizardry spell point for each of the five phases. And that brings us to spells. The game is actually quite deep. Each of the element have this spell tree and you can master different spells. You can have up to four of them on your spell wheel to use. And because we have been focusing on earth element, our earth element spells can be unlocked uh, we have more of them that we can unlock because they're restricted by your current level in that attribute. So Stone Weapon, for example, require us to have 12 points in the Earth attribute, which we do. So we'll use that. The 7 means we have to be at least Morale Rank 7 to use this ability. And the last one is the Cost in Spirit. So Casting Spell will cost us Spirit. We'll go to Negative Spirit if we're a Neutral. 
But as this one states, our weapon will be imbued with stone, so elemental damage, essentially. And I'm going to learn this, which is the reason why we got it. And we can set our spell wheel. So there's a couple that I really do like. Uh, the stone ones are very defensive, except for the rock spike, which is sort of a trap. You summon a pillar in front of you, they explode and knock enemies away on contact. Defensive, enhanced defense. We receive less damage. We also don't flinch, except from powerful attacks. Rock toughness. This one I like the most because there's a single use effect that prevents our morale rank from decreasing when we get hit by a critical blow or a red ability. It sort of protects our rank and our increased damage essentially. Uh, cloud stance reduce the consumption of spirit when deflecting. Important when you're missing the deflection, which I'm sure I will do, but for the sake of specialization, we'll pick up all the earth element spells that we have and we'll use them sparingly now aside from that you can re rest anytime it just resets the whole map there's also travel which shows you the location that we have there is a basic training location we can go to sort of practice our gear and this is where we're currently at village of calamity uh the problem here with the map is we're in the wrong place for Long Yacht Commandery. We should be way to the right. It's on the coast. Uh, just basically parallel park it to the right until you hit the coastline and we're in Long Yacht. And it's not a big problem for me. I don't need games to be super accurate. If there's certain things that's off, it's fine. And in this case, Long Yacht State, it's actually a pretty good localization of the term. I'm pretty sure they're going to have it as commandery, but in reality, Long Yad was a princedom. So the difference there being commanderies are jurisdictions under provinces. So if you think of states into counties, this will be province into commanderies. But princedoms are very special piece of land. It's given to a prince, so a relative of the emperor, and they basically have claim over the local tax income to support their princedom. And instead of being ruled by an administrator appointed by the court, it's ruled by a chancellor appointed by the prince. And Long Yat was one of the few princedoms still remaining in the late Han period. We're in the year 184, if I'm not mistaken, it should be ruled by Prince Liu Rong, who's a very good friend of Cao Cao's father, Cao Song, as Cao Song would actually retire and go live with Liu Rong before getting killed by Tao Tian, who is the prefect and governor of the Xu province. Same area, princedom under this province. Now, Liu Rong was a good friend to the Cao clan, so when Cao Cao came to power and eventually was ready to usurp the Han, he started removing the last few remaining Han princedom. I believe there were eight around the year 206. Cao Cao abolished seven of them. The only one that was not abolished in 206 was the princedom of Long Ya, which by that time is ruled by the son of Liu Rong, whose name is Liu Xi, I believe. Now, Liu Xi would eventually get killed by Cao Cao. He would be executed because he was committing treason, which, not shocking, he didn't want to support a regime that was going to overthrow his clan. He was trying to defect and join a regional power in 216, so I'm assuming it's Wu. There's not too much stated about the rationale behind his execution except he was defecting. So that ended the last princedom of the Han. But before that, very good relationship with the Tall clan. And location-wise, we just need to move it to the ocean to the east. And we'll check out the map in the future as we go. Now, deliveries where we can get our pre-water gear, which I did. And battle preparation is nothing useful right now because we don't have Divine Beast. But we read about Divine Beast in the load screen. So it's coming and we can change the appearance of our battle flag, which is what we stick into these um, banners. So um, let's make another round. No point not getting gear. And speaking of gear... We're going to change our gear very soon before we go into battle. 
We'll test out to see if our Lieutenant General gear is now light enough to wear. And also show some accessories, which can be dropped by the Changui as well. The Tiger Demon only drops clothing, no weapon, and max out at tier 2. So I ended up picking the Yellow Turban set, the Champion set, because we got the tier 4 helmet from clearing that mini boss at the end before we stuck the last banner down. Now all the enemy did respawn and we do need to be careful here because if we take damage from any of those red attacks then we will actually end up losing our 25 morale rank and we have to rebuild that. We want to go in as maximum damage. So a lot of assassinations if we can. I don't know if he found me. I think he found the blind boy who is going to lead him to me. Ooh. I'm just going to hide. He's going to lose aggro eventually. Or the blind boy is going to get him. Alright. Normal attacks are fine. As long as we're not getting hit by the red ones. Like that one. Like that one. We dropped 24, not the end of the world. If I can lock onto him, we can rebuild it. This is our martial arts with a spear. It's quite a long combo. I'm a little worried about using this in combat because how long it takes. If we miss and the animation keeps going, we could probably just get killed. We'll rebuild that meter. Hopefully, we'll get it to the level that we're happy with. That's in 25. All right, hold on. We can assassinate one of them by jumping down. All right. Um, let's use our spell. We're gonna. Imbue our weapon with stone. Extra stone elemental damage, as you see there. It lasts not that long, actually. Hmm, yeah, it's pretty short. It costs a lot of spirit. There are ways to decrease that cost, especially by specializing in metal. Get away from that red. Damage. We just got 25 back. Have no intent to lose it. I remember there's a guy sitting down. Oh, did we activate him already? Okay, he already died. Alright, we made it back. And we can reset here to get our potion back. Because there's no more enemies in front. It's just the boss. Nothing to level up. We're ready to go. Ready to die, basically. Before we do start the fight, uh, the fragments we can use to spend the resource to level up if we need to. Let's talk about gear. So there's nothing fancy about our spear. Oh, there is something that I did forget to do. Okay, we do have to fight through all the enemies. Apologize for that. Because... There is a chest we didn't open. Can he come to me without activating the archer? Yes, that's exactly what we want. Yeah, he disrupted that martial art pretty easily there. That's exactly what I'm worried about. There's Yeah, there's that guy over there. I think we can get him from behind. Uh, 
Uh, regular damage is fine. Just don't drop our morale rank. And I'm cool with everything. We do have to go back to the tiger. There's a lot of loot around the tiger. I will mess that up, but our damage is strong enough to kill it. Guess we get to kill the tiger again. Now, to be honest, we don't need its gear. I think the only thing that I kind of wanted to drop is a tier 2 Yellow Turban Champion Bracer. Which, a little hard to get, but if we don't get it, it's fine. I'm not going to grind it. Alright, so when we first approached this place, we went on the roof from the back to pick up this loot on the roof. But the roof is also broken. So you should jump down. This door is locked from the inside, which we opened already. But the main thing is there's a chest here. Ah. Tier 3. Okay. So it is the heavy version, Lieutenant General Greaves. You can see it's 12.6 just for this piece of leg gear or leg guard. And we get four special effects here. Morale rank point gain, shooting weapon spirit damage, toxin resistance, chill accumulation. We'll take a look at how much we weigh if we go with that set. Now you might notice we also have these. Bai Hu, Zhu Chue, Qing Long. These are the pre-order bonuses. They're named after three of the four divine beasts in Chinese mythology. Bai Hu is the white tiger. Zhu Chue is the phoenix. And Qing Long is the Zor Dragon. The one that's missing here is Xuan Wu, which is the Guardian of the North. It's the turtle with the snake as the tail. Uh, for those who played Total War Warhammer 3 or followed our content, you might remember we mentioned how Xuan Wu, the turtle gate and the snake gate, uh, is the reason why it's the gates in the north. It's actually kind of funny how the game have these three, but not Xuan Wu, who is the one that's most often associated with Taoism, because Zheng Wu Da Di, uh, a deity in Taoism, rides Xuan Wu as its mount. It, it stands atop of the turtle. Um, but anyhow, we're going to pop on some gauntlet. Do we have any tier 2 gauntlet? No, we have a couple of nameless warrior bracers, but let's pop on the gauntlet. Any with bonuses? Burn accumulation, negative effect duration, spirit gain from deflection. Yeah, that actually sounds the most useful one. Straight Saber damage. We are not currently using our Straight Saber, but I do like the fact that Straight Saber is associated with Lieutenant General because it is a Han weapon. But it seems like all the leg pieces don't care about that. Yellow Turban all have damage received while attacking decrease, which is quite nice. Now for, let's see, let's sort this. Only tier one, I guess. Ah, we have a tier two. Uh, let's see, it's heavy. We're now at 89.6% weight. And we haven't put on our helmet yet. 99.7, we made the cut. We made the cut, we can wear this if we want. Straight saber damage. We have morale ranking, flame resistance, health. Now, the game is actually pretty deep, looking at all these little elements, and I'm not sure if I'm a fan of this. Uh, it seems to be too much stat, and especially if it's spread out randomly on gear, you could be hunting for gear that you want forever, in my opinion, um, which some people like that, some people don't. I'm a very OCD type of player. I actually like collecting gear, so it's going to drain a lot of my time. Uh, anyhow, uh, we also have accessories, which we didn't discover last time, but it can be dropped as something you wear by the tiger. So we got a bunch of them. Uh, max out tier two. So we have a couple official seals. You can see a turtle on top, pretty low level uh, hairpin and the belt hook. Uh, all of the three 
I actually think the belt hook is pretty good. You can see it's health, positive effect duration, spirit gain from normal attack. And then the hairpin water phase uh, spell, we don't actually plan on using that. I don't have ammo. Range, spirit damage, elemental damage reduction negative. This is probably the better one. So that's the combo we're gonna end up using. We can put our other gear here uh, if we wanna use them. But uh, I think we're just gonna stick to the pot. We don't have any ranged weapons. None has dropped for us. And you can see all our stats here. It goes pretty crazy, I think, across the board. Yeah, the fire flicker does make the screen flicker as well sometimes, but it's fine. So that's the chest we had to get. Now we can just go back. Don't mess up our morale. We're gonna run back to the last flag, which shouldn't be very difficult. Now we're gonna swap to the saber because our damage bonus for it and just because it's a quicker weapon in my opinion. Oh, we're going the wrong way. Yeah, we didn't reset anything, so everything should still be good, and we're officially ready for the boss, John Down. Historically speaking, John Out is the first of the three brothers to die. He would die in battle. He led the most vanguard forces south from their position in Zulu. It was a very rushed rebellion. Uh, basically, they were planning for a rebellion at a date, but one of their members. Uh, told the court that the Yellow Turban movement, which the court believed was this religious movement, actually wanted to rebel against the Han. So the government basically put arrest warrants on all the three brothers, and they had to immediately start their rebellion early. And they were not really prepared. Great danger. We're in the mountains. It's beautiful here, but uh, it's going to be very dangerous. Prepare to die a lot. Erdunkushi <laughs> Uh, missed that timing. There we go. Hit that one. Missed that one. Dropped the morale rank. Let's imbue our weapon with a uh, stone. Hold on. Okay, we don't have time for that. attacking fast enough that he doesn't get to use anything. Except for that. And that hurts. Okay, I don't know if I should have casted that, but extra damage, here we come. Oh, he's shooting arrows. Disrupt him. Oh, that hurts. Oh, we can execute. That wasn't so bad. Of course there's a phase two. What? His arms are elastic. Great. Okay. I don't know how to approach this. He breaks pillars. Ooh. 
He has range attack. Okay. We parried it. Oh, dodge that one. Didn't dodge that one. Ooh, he got us. All right, we'll be back. We dropped down to 10 morale rank. That's where things get a little rough. We lose basically all our bonus damage. Now, of course, you can choose to go back and rebuild it, but we're going to just try to build him or beat him with 10. If we get stuck, I might go back and try to pick up the 25 rank. It does help tremendously. I'm not sure we have time to cast spells. Feels like we're so busy. We're faster than his attack. Ooh. I got to 20. Oh, by meeting him, we get half of it back. That's right. But if we die here, then it's gone. Oh, it's not an execute. Oh, it is an execute. We basically hit his spirit gauge all the way down. Okay, we don't even get to see the animation anymore. I don't know how to beat this thing. Do we go close and try to stun him with the quick attack again? Ow. I don't think I have time to take a potion break. Ow. Okay, block that one. Did not block that one. Wow, that hurt. We're stunned. I dodged, but it followed me after the dodge. Oh, this is brutal. I got my last heal. Let's use it. He doesn't get stun locked. Okay, except for here. Ow. That's different from the one he used before. Okay. We switched to spear. What is this? Alright, we can dodge that one. Oh, execute! Okay, it's just a lot of damage, it's not execute. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, ah, uh, we missed that one. Ow! Ah, uh, we had him. Mmm. I think the next time we come back, we don't go back to 20 morale rank. We'll see. I think the sword's still nice. The spear wasn't half bad. I think the only time I have time to cast is like in the beginning. Yeah, we're faster than his attack. We can disrupt it. At least in this mode. His second phase is like... A lot different. Ow. Oh, we're back to 20. Oh, we messed that up. We messed that up. Ah, uh, should have been drinking potion there. What is our special with this weapon? Feels like it's not doing damage. Ah, 
Ah, uh, have a hard time dodging that one. This one, pretty easy. This one has a delay on it. Alright. We got a delay. Uh, only once. Guess we got lucky that one time. Oh. Oh, this didn't kill him. So it's not execute, just a big chunk damage. Alright, he does two little things, spin it, and then we rush. Ah, uh, that didn't work. Oh, okay, we failed to dodge that one. That hurt. That, we gotta, we gotta dodge that one. Looks like we're dead. <laughs> no potion, and it did not go well. Oh, we parry both of those. Yeah, that was not going well. I need to check my sword. I feel like the move that we're doing is not doing damage. Gorging Star. It's not the same sword that we had in the beginning. It's another sword we picked up. Block attack as we are guarding. Oh, that's not what we need. We need something with damage. Go back to Starfall. That's our original weapon. I don't think we need the elemental attack. We can just lock onto him. He basically doesn't get to attack. Except for when he backs off like that. And then we are in trouble. Took a whole combo. There we go. Wait. Oh, I'm casting spells. I'm not hitting the... It's my bad. I was hitting the trigger instead of the button. Ah, uh, that one's just not good. I can't time that one. This is easy. The delay is messing me up. Yeah, it's still it feels too. Oh, chunk him. Yeah, but see now we're only at ten point of morale because we keep getting hit by that move which drops our morale rank we're out of potions already gotta learn how to dodge this one he does this way too much there we go yeah it's just a delay gotta get used to that All right, not hopeful here. Wow. I was expecting the spikes, but not the, the swings afterward. Hmm. We'll give it another shot. If we get stuck, I think I'm going to go get our rank up and then try again and just skip the part where we get our rank up. All right, we're only at 10 here, so it's much more difficult than starting at 25. Ah, I still can't dodge that one. Nope, gotta keep practicing this. Okay, I mean, yeah, it's a delay. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's a delay. We're getting there. Oh, okay. It's also the distance he has with us. Nope, didn't get it. Right, so I think we need to uh, build our morale rank up a little bit. So we'll be right back. Alrighty, so we're back. We have 25 morale rank again. This is going to be our best shot. So let's hope it works. Make it count. We didn't know the move set for the second phase the first time. Now we do. So hopefully we can bring it home here. I don't think we need to do a lot of deflecting here. We can just trap him and keep hitting him. Except for this one. I'm gonna cast the protection just so I don't lose tears. That's what I care about the most, not losing our morale rank while fighting him. This way, if we get hit, we get hit. It's no big deal. Ah, we lost one. Alright, phase two. Let's do this. I think we have 24 morale rank. Good enough. Not what we want. Nope. There we go. This is the stun. What is this? Oh, this is different. There we go. We had one more potion, I'll feel better about this. We're still alive. Ah, uh, spoke too soon. That whip move is very different. I don't think we've seen it before, but we'll get 20 back. I think we still have a good shot here. Give it one more try. Use less potion on the first one. And we should be good. Oh, they put us back here because we didn't use the last banner before we got back. Okay, so we're just gonna have to get through everything again. Not good. <laughs> But I guess we can build up our rank a little bit more. We're only rank 10. Well, this is how you would do the tiger at rank 10. It's a little bit trickier because you don't do a lot of damage to it. It's a hit and run tactic. Run through the flame. Now he's going to wander off. He's not going to find us over here, but um, while he's wandering away, Protect our points, get some increased damage. Not gonna lose to you. Alright, now we go back and the tiger should be back. Not yet? Okay, we can wait a little longer by killing the guy over here. We have to clear everyone anyways before we go back. We should have popped the flag before we fought him. I basically got the morale rank up and then just went straight for it, obviously clearing everything, but we didn't need to reset our heal because we did it fairly cleanly. Oh, it's back. Okay. Okay. 
That's a tier two. It might be better than the tier two that we have. Gotta take a look. Spirit gain, ice resistance. Don't think we need ice resistance. Zhao Nang, I don't think any of his attack are ice. They don't look particularly icy. He not activate this guy. I guess he does not mess up with stealth. I can't lock onto him. Huh. There we go. In case he has a move that can drop our... There we go. And in case I can't parry, but we can. Uh, we can take a heal. We can use this. Doesn't actually change anything because we're moving forward. Now the zombies can be snuck up on. Even from the front, because his face is kind of buried in Oh no, never mind. Uh, it's easier to kill those two from the air. In case this guy knocks one of our precious rank off. We're getting the hang of the parrying. Let's go up. The archer sees us. The spearman sees us. Oh, he shot us in there. All right, made it back. We got to touch this flag. That's all we got to do. We're at 16. I believe we'll get most of our morale rank back when we see him, because it'll be a revenge opportunity of sorts. Yep, we're at 25. Hmm, it's okay. I'm gonna cast this, just in case he start using the red attack early. Oh, but we learned how to parry it. All right, not gonna get cocky. That was clean. We didn't use any potions. I like this. Let's see if we can do this. Ah, uh, that was not good. That's the most important one. I think we got him. We got him.
您果然成功战胜了对手，如此孙子便能得救。楼儿若老夫，何如此之手吧？应龙，这力量名不虚传呐、啊I guess that's another reason to not wear the heavy armor. We sink. So the Talus was after the boy, after all. He is the one with the talisman who revived us. But I guess we're special too. We now only have half the talisman. <sighs> now the real story begins. Alrighty, Dongshan, in the Taishan Commandery, in the Yan Province. So we're probably gonna end up meeting Cao Cao pretty soon, just judging by the location, because he's in control of the Yan Province at this time. I have to say a couple of things. The dragon design's really solid, not the corruption part, but the fact that it looks more like a beast rather than like the long-winded dragon that's more popular after the Song Dynasty.、Uh, during the Han Dynasty, the depiction of dragons were more beast-like. Which is basically four-legged, short body instead of the long snake-like body in the later periods. The helmet is also really good. Not just the you know metal flaps on the side, but where it comes to eye level, I think a lot of video game helmets tend to open up the face a bit too much. Historically, you want to wear your helmet right up to your eyelid because you want to protect everything. All you need is just sight. Everything else needs to be covered. Which is done really, really well here. But anyhow, we're gonna continue our journey here next time. I believe we are at an auto save point, so we're just gonna end things here. We beat Zhang Liang. Wasn't too bad. I expected to die a bit more. Having those morale ranks really helped. So hope you guys enjoyed this one, and see you all next time. Bye.